family, we could definitely use some cheery, happy Christmas music, because you know it's around the corner, but you just can't help but think about those who've been impacted by that outbreak overnight. Yeah, it is It is terrible. Um, I am very interested to see what the uh, National Weather Service, uh, all of the weather service up in that area are you know, teaming together uh, to obviously determine the length of this track, the devastation from this track. And it probably will take multiple days for us to uh, finally see what type of uh, tornado this was, like EF2, EF3, EF4, along those scales. Um, wow. But yeah, it definitely will be interesting to see how it plays out and it's going to be very very devastating to see how many deaths we end up seeing from this storm but thankfully here in the Tennessee Valley we did not uh, see that much damage let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics because it did bring us some colder air notice our temperature change just within the last 24 hours Florence seeing a 31 degree drop Huntsville 27 Athens and Decatur 28 Fayetteville 23 so it's definitely going to be much colder tonight than it was last night. Already seeing 43 right now in Huntsville, 41 in Fayetteville, 43 in Coleman. Notice our western side of the Tennessee Valley starting to clear out. We still do have some cloud icons towards the central and eastern part. Uh, that's because that cold front is continuing to drag itself towards the east and behind it clouds are going to start to clear. So for the overnight tonight, expect a gradual clearing 33 for our low temperature. We could still be dealing with some gusty winds up to 25 miles per hour. So just be mindful of that. If you do have anything uh, outdoors decoration, uh, things like that, you might want to bring them inside if you can. Other than that, we'll just continue to see a north north east wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour for tomorrow. We're going to see plenty of blue skies, sunshine temperatures look to make it into the lower 50s tomorrow, so it's going to be a cooler and seasonal day out there. But don't worry, warm temperatures are once again going to be back in the forecast 54 for the expected high tomorrow. But notice we're going to be right at 69 on Wednesday, 70 degrees on Thursday. So the Climate Prediction Center does have the Tennessee Valley much less the entire southeast uh, under the area of above average temperatures for next week. So keep in mind our average temperature right around this time is uh, 56. So we're going to be well above average. Cold front has pushed off to the west, bringing in the rain that we saw earlier this morning with it. Like I said, we're just left with a few clouds out there and some much cooler air. But it does look like high pressure will build behind the cold front. That's going to keep us dry and sunny through the next few days. We could see a few isolated showers towards the western side of the valley come Tuesday, thanks to our uh, next disturbance that's going to move through. But most of us going to be remaining dry. And it looks like our next rain chance will be coming towards the end of the week. So enjoy the dry weather while we've got it, like I said, because rain chances will start to uptick uh, once we head towards the end of the week and into the weekend thanks to another cold front that's going to be headed in our direction. Good news, it doesn't look like severe weather is going to be a problem as of right now. Seven day forecast 54 cooler afternoon tomorrow. We'll see plenty of sunshine on Monday right at 60 degrees is what we're expecting. But of course, we're going to warm ourselves into the 70s by Thursday. Mostly clouds. A few of us going to be seeing isolated showers Friday and Saturday will be the greatest opportunities for some rain. Uh, it looks like Friday uh, will be our greatest opportunity once the cold front moves through, going to drop temperatures into the mid 60s by Saturday. Kenesha.